Hey everybody, welcome to another Cinch Gaming tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to use the Cinch streaming application. Before you get started, you'll need an account that you've registered on the Cinch Gaming website. Once you have that, you're ready to go. The Cinch streaming application allows you to share your keyboard and mouse button presses with anyone who's watching your stream. You'll notice that you can actually move the keyboard and mouse anywhere on the green screen that you like. And that button presses will show on your screen. You also notice the mouse movement indicator as well as the mouse button presses up and down and the middle button. So behind the mouse and keyboard is a green screen. This basically allows you to chroma key your, your keyboard and mouse while you're streaming so that anything behind the keyboard and mouse is actually going to be transparent. There are a few little tips and tricks that I'd like to show you. First off, of course, moving the keyboard and mouse around the screen anywhere you like. You can make the green screen the full size of the screen if you like. You can put the keyboard and mouse in the right hand corner. Another cool feature is you can actually click the right click the mouse button and it'll bring up a menu. This menu will give you a few different options here. Basically gives you control of the app, your subscription, uh, the account settings, uh, that's your personal account, and then of course some help information in the logout button. So if you click on the menu you'll see that the first option here is app settings. App settings basically gives you all of the menu items that you would need to control how the app looks and how it acts. The first option here is called action messages. Action messages are a very unique function to the Cinch streaming app. Action messages allow you to show anything you want every time you hit a certain key or key combination. For example, if I click Action Messages and then Custom Messages, it brings up another menu. Here I can take a key, let's just take the Q for example, and I'll hit that button and that'll come up here in your window, and then I'll type in, uh, let's say, let's say Fire. And I'm going to save that and close the window. And now every time I hit the Q button, if I hit the Q, you'll see an action message pop up and it says fire. And notice that's pretty small right now so we're gonna want that to be a little bit bigger. So we're gonna open up our menu again and go into the font effects. And here you can actually change anything you like about the font. You can change the color, we'll keep it red. You can change the font size, let's change that to 72. You can actually change the font itself, let's change that to the Cinch Gaming font. You can do strikeouts or underlines, you know, some of your basic uh, options. And now you can actually do a preview in this window and see what it would look like. Or you can hit show example and it will show it actually right on the application itself. Currently we're using the freeware version of the software so we only have one animation uh, to select from. And that's slide left so we'll cho choose that. Click save, click close, and now your action message is updated. Let's say you don't really like where that location is though, you can change that easily as well. You go into Font Effects, click the custom uh, button here for text alignment, and even click Show Example, it'll show you exactly where that text is going to pop up. Save it and close it, now every time you hit Q, Fire pops up in the upper left hand corner. So that's a real quick, easy way on how to get your action messages to work. Let's look at a couple of the other menu items and see what we can do here. First of all, under uh, App Settings, we just showed Action Messages and Font Effects, Custom Messages. Show Example will show an example of your selected font and effects. Uh, and then of course there's an option here called My Stored Fonts. My Stored Fonts is a cool way to upload and download fonts that you would like to save. All of these fonts are stored in the Cinch Gaming Cloud. So wherever you go with your streaming application, all your fonts will go with you. If you would like to download the fonts that you have saved, you click the download button. 
Currently there are no uploaded fonts, so you'll see the alert menu pop up and say there's no uploaded fonts. If you don't have any fonts uploaded, you can click the upload button and navigate to where your fonts are stored. And click the button and hit open. And it will upload your font. The next time you do a download, it'll ask you where you want to store it. You put it on the desktop and it will download the fonts to a zip file in your, in your designated folder. One of the next features you can see here in the menu is your subscription. It'll tell you whether you're using a free or a premium version. If you'd like to know more about the premium version, click the button. It'll tell you that there are certain features that will be unlocked once you go with the premium version. You can either buy it now or click the later button. Your account settings will allow you to go in and look at your account and change your password, or you can simply log out from here. And that's pretty much it as far as action messages go. So now let's take a look at some of the other app menu options. In app settings, you can also change the wireframe color, the background color. You can insert a delay buffer. You can hide the mouse direction or the mouse keyboard border. I should note that the colors are only available to premium users, so you can't change your wireframe or your background color unless you have a premium version. Let's take a quick look at the delay buffer. The delay buffer is a way to delay your key presses in case you're using a delay on your stream. So for example, if I want to delay everything by one second, I'll hit add delay, type in one, hit set delay, and now every time I hit a key, it takes a second for it to show up. You can change the delay buffer from anything you'd like between zero and five seconds. The next thing I'd like to show you is the hide mouse direction button. So notice that the mouse direction wheel follows the mouse cursor as I move the mouse around. If you don't want that direction pad to show, you can right click, hit app settings, and hit hide mouse direction. And now it's gone. Another cool thing you can do is hide the keyboard border. If you don't like the border on the keyboard, just hit App Settings and hit Hide Keyboard Border. These settings will save for you every time you log in and out of your application. So now let's take a look at how you can use the Cinch Streaming app in a program like XSplit. Here you can see we have XSplit open. Just go down to the bottom menu, click Add, choose Screen Capture, Navigate to where your Cinch Streaming app is, and in this case I have it on a separate monitor, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And once you have the window selected, it adds in here. And you can see that the window is resizable. You can change the window to whatever size you want. Place it anywhere on the screen that you'd like. And from here you're going to want to set up your chroma key values so that everything that's green turns transparent. So right click on the window, select color, and click chroma key. And now everything is transparent in the background. You can actually go in now and change a couple of settings. We recommend that you uncheck show mouse so that mouse isn't shown while you're moving around on the screen. Uh, you can change the tone or the contrast of the brightness here. You can change anti-aliasing. Uh, you can change all types of different settings here to make the keyboard and mouse look however you'd like. And that's it. Now your keyboard and mouse is ready to go.